All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs, day number 1252, coming at you. Hope you're all doing well out there. And if you could, real quick, if you if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. Leave a comment right now saying hashtag first timer so I could say hello to you. And if you've been here before, leave a comment saying hashtag before. And of course, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That's the red button down below. It's free, so I'll give you a second to hit that. And of course, don't forget to hit the like button down below. I'd really appreciate that. So let's jump into this. And let me just give a quick disclaimer here. I completely understand that when you put yourself out to the internet, like I have for almost four years now, you are going to find all different walks of life. You're going to find people that agree with you. You're going to find people that disagree with you. And it's, you know, it is what it is. It's the way of the world. It's the way it is. Now, this email I'm about to read to you is an email that shows that you can disagree with somebody but do it tastefully. Okay? And to be honest, this particular person isn't even really fully disagreeing with me per se, but you'll see when I read it. And if you guys ever want to send me anything, email it to pay to drive stories at gmail.com. So listen to this. My DoorDash story is the subject. Long time viewer, first time emailer. Hi Pete, my name is Jack. Hold on, I gotta, sorry. I'm getting too many notifications here. Hi Pete, my name is Jack and I have been a full time dasher and a fan of your channel for two and a half years. As of today, I just accomplished 20,000 career deliveries. 20,000. 20, Everybody in the chat or in the comments, tell me how many career deliveries you have. Put it in the chat or the comments real quick over here if you're in the live chat or down here on the comments. As a fan, I realize a good portion of your channel is focused on the negative aspects of DoorDash. He's correct about that. Now, a lot of people say, you're so negative. Listen to what he says next, okay? He's agreeing that a lot of the content I put out is negative because those are the topics. I'm not making them up. Granted, the majority of the content is warranted. Guy's been watching for two and a half years, and he basically disagrees with me. For me and my experience, I have witnessed more positive aspects of the job. Huh. I like being able to schedule when I want to work and how many hours I put into the job. It's nice not having a boss and being able to pick which orders I deliver. I've come a long way with DoorDash in the middle of a pandemic. And I, I couldn't agree more. And what do I always say, guys? Every market is different. Say it again with me. Every market is different. I'm serious. In the chat, in the comments, say every market is different. Okay? What works in one person's market might not work in another person's, which is why everyone has a different opinion with these jobs. I deliver across the river from you in North New Jersey, because I'm in New York. Uh, it is very, it's a very saturated market, which always keeps me busy. In January of this year, I was sent an email from DoorDash telling me I was the top of the top dashers last year with over 11,183 deliveries, delivering for 356 restaurants. I was also given the opportunity to appear in the Dasher Spotlight as part of the Dasher newsletter, which is very cool, I gotta say. Uh, even though I have experienced a lot of the topics that are covered in your videos, whether good or bad, I do not multi-app. I just use DoorDash. My experience up until now has been great. I've developed many working relationships with the restaurants I pick up from. Just like anything in life, I am willing to learn and, and improve what I do each and every day. In the end, I want to thank you all for the content that you share. Your words of wisdom speak volumes with me and my journey in the gig economy. Thank you again and be safe out there. Jack, huge, huge thank you, okay? And I'm not just saying, well, thank you because you're making me look good, okay? It's not a matter, matter of making me look good or bad, okay? Because remember, all I do is I'm just the messenger. Somebody sends me something from point A, point B to point C, which is you guys. I'm point B. So I read it and I put it out to you guys, whether it's an article, my own personal experience, or an email from somebody else's experience. That's all it is. I'm just the messenger. You know that saying, don't shoot the messenger, you know? So he's basically saying 
he agrees with most of what I'm saying, but he has had a different experience in his market. So for every single one of you who, who out there, you know, don't agree with me, you have every right to feel that way, but at least think about what you're saying when, when you're saying it, you know, because you might be doing really, really, really well, just like Jack is, but somebody in Kansas or uh, Florida or, or Texas or whatever, California, they may not be having the same experience as you. So you might be getting orders every 20 seconds where somebody's sitting there for hours not getting one. You know, the smaller markets tend to not have as many orders. So like, for instance, my particular market for Grubhub, especially DoorDash is, is busy, but Grubhub is just as busy, you know? So in his particular market, he has no need for multi-apping. See, the, the whole, here's the thing. The only reason multi-apping exists in the first place is when drivers realize that they need to broaden their horizons and maybe try and get better orders through different platforms. But if one app, like for me, Grubhub, I didn't really have to multi-app that much, especially in the beginning days, because the, the, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, orders come in so frequently. You know, I could turn my app on right now as we speak, and within 30 seconds to a minute, I would probably get a, a cowbell, you know? So with that being said, I really, really appreciate his take on this. And for those of you who watch me but don't agree with me but still leave comments anyway, uh, I appreciate you. I want you to know that. I appreciate the fact that you are willing to give your opinion on me, on what I'm saying, on what the topic is and stuff. But there's a way of being more respectful about it is, is really what it is. So if you guys ever have anything you want to send me, email to paytodrivestories at gmail.com. And I do want to take this time to give a huge, huge special thanks to all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. Uh, it's a tier system. You can support the channel every month and you will get shout outs in every video, uh, especially all my new videos. Uh, link is in the description or in the pin top comment. Go sign up today and check it out and you will get shout outs like this. When you hear your name called in the chat or the comments, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. So we got, uh, let me see, BBA Master Yoda Nottingham, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, just to name a few. Um, let's see here. My computer is lagging. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so BBA Master Yoda Nottingham, Brian Pomeroy, uh, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland. Uh, brand new, brand new, uh, patron here. Fresh one. Uh, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu, Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, T Breeze, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, T uh, Terry DeLong and Valerie Brown. Big shout out to all of you. If you heard your name, leave a comment down below. Make sure to sign up on the get upside gas app, pump your gas Print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. Link's in the description down below. Um, and of course, check out paytodrivestore.com for official pay to drive t shirts and hoodies and goodies. And uh, if you made it to the end, leave a comment right now saying end 649, end 649. And subscribe with all notifications on if you haven't down below and hit that like button. It's lonely. Give it a qu uh, quick click. And that's it for me, everybody. Until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you all here right now and in the future on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Take care, everybody. Have a great one.